Welcome to 2PW Prospect Pro Wrestling. I am your host, Michael Doc Doherty here, and we're getting things started up in uh, pretty much in a fiery fashion, that's right. Corey Futuristic, accompanied by that man, Billy Ruxpin, who uh, pretty much is a figment of everybody's imagination, uh, part of the faction STDs, short for Sexy Talented Dudes. So Corey claiming he's from the future, but one thing's for certain, he definitely has his hands full tonight. Officer Dan Murphy making his way to the ring, and there is no love loss here tonight, especially with the two BW vans and Officer Dan Murphy, him and his partner David Lawless, not really uh, liked here, also known as Lawless and Order. And right now, Officer Dan Murphy having his hands full pretty much with the, the fans here at 2BW. They better watch out, I mean, he has that belly club, and one thing about Officer Dan Murphy, he is not afraid to use it. I hope Corey Futuristic is pretty much, his head is on a swivel, especially with that nightstick being right there. And he said, oh, now he's writing people tickets. Get over it. You gotta be kidding me. He has that whistle. And one thing about, I just, I cannot figure out about Officer Dan Murphy, the fact that, is he asking for the microphone? Oh, here we go. I guess we have a right to be silent. Oh, you were out there running your mouth about so many minutes or whatnot. I was dead right there, back in the back of the board. I'll take this short. What the heck is in your freaking. What is that? What is that? What is this? What is this? Is he really trying to point out that Billy Ruxpin here has a leak object? Billy Ruxpin? You gotta be kidding me. What is this Show us. Okay, this is a man who has a whistle and a belly club at his disposal. Wait, wait a minute. What did he have? You a All right, well, there's more. Wait, wait, there's more. What is this? Maybe Billy Ruxpin watched Emerald and got influenced. I don't know. What is this? The tape one? What, what the heck is that? I feel bad for him. What the heck is that? What is that? Show us. Take it out. Okay, I definitely feel bad for Guy Harrison right now. He didn't sign up for all this. the heck is that? Yeah, get it. Good idea, guy. Good idea. Use the kerchief. Use the kerchief. Alright, we're going to ring this bell here. Hopefully get some action started here at T 2PW. Prospect Pro Wrestling and <laughs> Billy Ruxman, I think it's a little... I think of anything... And what a drop kick by Futuristic. Getting things started off right here. And is he going to choke on that whistle? That is the question I was wondering. And now the future, Cody Futuristic now, squeezing the head of Officer Dan Murphy. And right now these two locking up. Oh, wait a minute now. Headlock applied by the one that claims he's from the future. I looked in the parking lot earlier. I could not find a DeLorean anywhere. Oh, but the power of Dan Murphy. Oh, wait a minute now. Futuristic has a good hold of Officer's head here. And oh, shoulder block and a beauty. And uh-oh. And Billy Ruxpin has claimed Officer Dan Murphy's whistle. Does Dan Murphy really want to put his mouth on that after where it's been? That's the question. Shoulder block and Murphy just crushing Cody Futuristic here. Big elbow and a miss. And 
And now Cody Futuristic off the ropes. Drop kick to the face. How's your face, Officer Dan Murphy? And right now, Corey Futuristic in complete control. Corey has him up. Oh, couple forearms here. And wait a minute. Billy Ruxpin has stolen the hat and the Billy. Oh, no, wait. He had it there for a second. Only to the count of six. And the officer. And Corey Futuristic now. Oh, in that corner. And and our first play of chop served here tonight to PW Prospect for wrestling. Corey stopping himself. Big elbow. And the STD member up and over. And tossed like a rag doll. Good Lord. Officer Murphy trying to recollect his thoughts here. I think he's still mad about the whistle, to be honest with you. Kick to the midsection. And now Officer Dan Murphy applying uh, some pain here, and as he likes to call it, justice. He has Futuristic up. What's he gonna do with him? Oh, wait a minute. He's just toying with him right now. This could blow up in his face. Oh, and body slam. Little background here about Murphy. First is class, Allegheny Police Academy. Only to the count of one. This, these fans getting behind Futuristic now. And right now, Officer Dan Murphy is just squeezing, applying. Our referee guy, Harrison, completely, completely on top of this right now. A couple elbows in the stomach. Two. Knee lift. Has him, sends him to the opposite corner. Here comes Murphy. Big knee to the Big knee to the solar plexus there. Sends him up again. But wait a minute, futuristic up and over that high flyer mentality and oh! Did you see that in Saguri? Good Lord. How's your face, officer? That's the question I want to know. Right now, Corey Futuristic trying to gain some momentum back in this matchup. Sends him in the opposite ropes. Oh, wait a minute, reversal by Murphy. Futuristic up, catches him. One, two, and no, only a two count. What a way to start off things here, 2PW. Futuristic taking on Murphy here. Billy Ruxpin though, question was, how did he come about and become a member of the STDs? Oh my goodness. Murphy, backbreaker, and just tossed him like a rag doll. Slow to count though, one, Two and no. Slow to get the cover there. I think if Murphy would have just been there a couple seconds or maybe a second earlier, he would have had that three count. Futuristic now. Corey in trouble. The officer has him that opposite corner. And throws that big elbow into his chest. The question is, Wait a minute, we'll see us. Big turnaround, backbreaker, my goodness. And he just kept them there. You know this has to be hurting the spine. Of course, futuristic. Oh, wait a minute now. Throws a forearm back in the head. Oh, my goodness. Look at the power of the officer dammer just picking him back up again. Oh, what's he, he, I don't know if he's toying with the audience or is he toying? Is he actually toying with futuristic? He's actually toying with them both now. My God, this is punishment at its worst. His spine has to be done. One, two, and no. Only if you count. And now you're seeing the frustration, the buildup on Murphy's face. He can't believe it. Oh, wait a minute. Has him up. Former trainee of Chris LaRusso. And wait a minute now, though. Corey Futuristic has him. Oh, but it wasn't enough. Picked him up by his head. Oh, little rake of the eyes there. Has him. Couple forearms. Futuristic sends Murphy up and over. Oh, wait, Murphy reverses it though. And what a big boot by Officer Dan Murphy. Murphy a little bit light on his feet though. I mean, Futuristic was just throwing his forearms into his head. And right now, a couple stomps. 
And now Murphy gaining momentum back in this matchup. He's had momentum through this whole matchup so far. As it, European uppercut. And right now, Futuristic's in trouble. Picks him up again. He's gonna work on that back of Futuristic. Oh, wait a minute. I thought for a minute that has him. Pushes him out of ring, a little bit of a drop kick. Uh oh, here we go. These fans getting behind Corey Futuristic here. The man of the future. And Corey's ready. Has it up and suicide dive. Oh my God. He just took the officer out. You have the right to remain in pain. Remember, there's only to the count of 10. Futuristic has to get him back in that ring if he wants this win. Or he can try to work for a count out, but that is a Futuristic's way. Just rolls him back in. Now Futuristic in control here. Can he keep the momentum? That's the question. Murphy's been still in the momentum the whole matchup so far. Hits him in the midsection there. Up and over. Rolls up. Look at the agility of Futuristic, but wait, Murphy catches him in the middle here, has him! Samoan drop. Billy Ruxpin on the apron. I thought he was a figment of everybody's imagination. The referee sure as heck sees him. Oh, they're fighting back and forth now. Wait a minute, Billy Ruxpin causing pretty much a diversion. Wait a minute, did I just see Chess Flexer hand him something? What is in the hands of Corey Futuristic? What is that? Is that what I think it is? Wait a minute. Oh my! He just put the stun gun in his hands. Oh no. I mean, the referee's back was turned, arguing with Rushman, trying to settle down him and Murphy. And wait a minute, rolls him over. One, two, three, it's over. Futuristic wins. What a win by the MVP. Corey Futuristic. Corey Futuristic victorious. And I'll tell you what, the man of the future. A little bit of help from Chess Flexer there, but. The referee was, I, I thought it was going to be a disqualification. Dan Murphy is beside himself right now. He cannot believe what just happened here tonight at 2PW. Again, the STD's victorious. And uh, I don't think this is the end of it, though, folks. And if I'm Billy Ruxpin, I am watching my back from now on. The question is, how many tickets, speeding tickets, parking tickets, is this 2P, 2PW crowd gonna get tonight? Again, congratulations goes out to Corey Futuristic for his victory tonight. Racer. This man right here scares me. Bottom line, you heard a dark hush coming over this crowd tonight here at the Worthington Civic Center. And I don't blame him. I mean, this man right here and, of course, Gory forming the culmination. The culmination pretty much running rampant over seven territories here in the indie wrestling scene. I'd be coast to coast. These guys are feared. That's all that I can say about them. Uh, Corey taking Remy under his wing and basically making him into what I could say is a combination of just, I don't know, evil and just nonstop aggression when it comes to Remy LeVay. But Remy, I hope you did your homework tonight because you definitely have your hands full with this man right here. 
That's right, I'm talking about the solution, Zach Rain. Zach Rain ready? That is the question I want to know. CJ Sensation trying to keep these guys apart. If I'm Sensation, I'm ringing that bell soon because, my God, I've never seen the crowd just, they are behind Rain tonight. Check it on both of them. And this bell has rung, folks, and we are here live, 2PW, Rain versus LeVay, LeVay versus Rain. Remy LeVay doing some, uh, doing some recruiting here, trying to get the natural Zach Rain to join. He's pulled out even a, a headband here for the nation. Is Zach Rain going to join the column? The culmination now that's the question oh I'm gonna take that as a no and Remy LeVay says okay so we got ourselves a matchup and uh, did Zach Ray make the right decision that's the question the solution taking on the mind eraser these two lock up right now here at 2 PW prospect pro wrestling and now LeVay putting him in the corner he has to the count of five Oh, little mind games now. And that's one thing about LeVay, always playing the mind games. Sometimes I don't know if I want to call him a man, if he reminds me of Marilyn Manson or Charles Manson, a little bit of both. LeVay is just sick in the head. And right now, Zach, Zach Rain, the solution now, breaking that count and actually uh, bringing to the count of five here. Zach Rain, what can I say about it? More heart than brains, this guy. Puts his body on the line daily. And puts his body on the line every time he's in front with the 2PW crowd here. And right now, LeVay twisting that arm. And wait a minute. Zach Rain now twisting the arm of Remy LeVay here. Swings it around. Pushes him into that corner. And now the solution coming over. Thought he was gonna give it a chop and a little bit of mind games from the solution, Zach Rain. Looked like a test of strength here, and uh, I never seen it started in the corner like that. That was a little different. Oh my goodness. And now Remy LeVay just twisting away here on the arms of Zach Rain. Rolls him up and over, and what a flip over. Remy LeVay and takes him down and my God, Zach Rain, oh, what a kick. LeVay misses those punches. Big boot to the face. And the solution, Zach Rain, in control of this matchup, has him. Crushing on the back of his head. And LeVay rolling out of the ring, getting out of harm's way here. But the question is, Will we see any other members of the culmination? Off that rope. Oh, lands on the apron. LeVay better turn around. Misses him. Look at the agility of Rain. And LeVay just takes him down and oh my goodness, that has to hurt. I mean, he has hit the hardest part of the ring, which of course is the apron. And right now, LeVay taking advantage and just pounding away on the, on the solution. Zach Rain. Zach Rain, strong style st striker. I mean, we've seen that a little earlier, but LeVay now implementing his own, you could say, strong style, just those repeated punches. Two and only a two count. CJ Sensation on top of things here. Oh, uh, LeVay. LeVay better watch, though. It's going to take a lot more than that to beat Zach Rain. 
and right now this is the first time these guys have met. And the man again swapping the chest. This repeated boost to the chest and Zach Rain's in some pain right now. And right now this crowd trying to rally and get behind the solution, Zach Rain. LeVay sends him into the corner. LeVay has him loaded up and oh, big elbow by Rain. LeVay doesn't know where he's at right now. Oh, but LeVay coming back. And now LeVay just repeated strikes, repeated kicks to the chest. He is just brawling right now with Zach Rain. I think LeVay still took it personally that Rain would not join the culmination. The question is, is Zach Rain regretting that right now? Only to the count of four. LeVay knows how to play these, uh, plays the ropes games, you could say, here in pro wrestling. And oh, here we go again. We're at the count of four, almost to the count of five. Very close to getting disqualified here, Remy LeVay. And Remy LeVay now is just taking it to Zach Rain. Oh, wait a minute now. Zach Rain now trying to come back. Couple punches to the solar plexus. There's that strong style background we talked about. And I'll oh, grab the tights. Has him up and oh! How's your back? Zach Rain, two and no. Everybody winced on that, even our ring announcer here saying one, two, and no. Remy LeVay, a little desperate here. Maybe third time's a charm. And of course, that's what the Buffalo Bill said. And only a count of two here, says CJ Sensation. Now LeVay starting to argue here. The solution, I don't even know how he's even on his knees. My God, LeVay has just been beating him. Left and right, just punches, kicks. All out punishment, then again, that is the way the combination is. If you're not with them, you're getting punched in a big old chop by Rain, and now a forearm, and LeVay throwing that offense in there, and wait a minute. I think we just pushed a button here on the solution, and now Zach Rain and big chops, kicks to the stomach, and Zach Rain now, the solution, coming back in this matchup. The mind eraser wondering what went wrong there. Sends him into the ropes. Here comes Rain, up and over, and all. Oh, Rain, cat-like reflexes, lands on his feet, has him, rolls him up. Oh, wait a minute, thought roll up, but no, wait. Uh oh, is this what I think it is? The Lincoln Lock, he has it applied. This could be it right here, the Lincoln Lock. We may be a step out right here. LeVay not giving up though. If I'm Rain, I'm keeping that in there. He has him. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. That had to tear something. LeVay's knees hurt. Are we going to see the solution? Try to capitalize here. And oh, hopping over is LeVay. And solution took too much time there. And now LeVay has him. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute, Zach Rain has, trying to choke him out here, has him up and, oh no! How's your jaw, Zach Rain? One, two, and no! Only a two count. LeVay thought he had him. LeVay needs to concentrate on his opponent though. He cannot concentrate. He keeps arguing with CJ Sensation. LeVay is just beside himself right now. The frustration is building. Now he's starting to take it out on the crowd here. LeVay here, you know. LeVay's just a scary, scary individual. I mean, him and Glory have pretty much placed a dark umbrella, you could say, over here at TPW. They're basically TPWs, or excuse me, two PWs. And now the Lincoln Lock applied again. Rain in complete control. Stretching that knee, working that bad knee. LeVay kicks him out. Catches him. LeVay has him. And again, Rain on the defense. Flips him over. Two, three, it's over. Zach Rain is victorious. What a maneuver by the Solution. Zach Rain 
victorious. What a comeback. And I thought LeVay had him. I mean, LeVay was beating the living holy hell out of him in the beginning. Zach Ray victorious, able to find his way out of what we like to call the dark umbrella that Remy LeVay has, along with Corey, over the 2PW crowd. And wait a minute! Oh no, LeVay attacking the winner here. Zach Rain had his back turn, and LeVay. And what a DDT plants him. And LeVay. I think he's a little upset over the loss. Yeah, he's very upset over this loss. Okay, the crowd informing Mr. LeVay that he still lost. Man, does he look angry right now. Oh no. The crowd has to understand he's just gonna take this out here of the, the solution, Zach Rain, and thrown out the ring. And the only man left. Oh, wait a minute. LeVay's not done yet. Somebody needs to get out here and stop him. See? He just kissed him on the head. What is going on here? And throws him into that post face first. And the solution is down. We have to get some help out here. Someone has to stop Remy LeVay right now. The mind eraser. He cannot believe what just happened here. That was just despicable. LeVay is definitely going to be fined for this and probably even caught by face a possible suspension. Who knows? But attacking the solution. We need to get help out here for Jason Tyler making his way to the ring, the, known as the sexy fireman, because somewhere there's a five alarm fire. This man has his own Valentine's made after himself, folks. That's right, North Irwin, PA native, the sexy fireman, Jason Tyler. <laughs> and well, I, I mean, Poor Guy Harrison just got a little bit of the dance in there. Wonder if there's any dollar bills for this man. Probably as I want to say, arrogance personified if I've ever seen it before in my life. What can I say? The Tom Brady of professional wrestling, that's right. Elijah Dean also would like to be known as 192.69 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal in. A lot of sex appeal in that ring tonight. Of course, the sexy fireman. And of course, this man right here. The man dime, Elijah Dean. But here's the question. Is Elijah Dean ready for the sexy fireman? You got two men in this ring right now. Thought we were gonna see somebody else in this matchup, but we got these two. And I feel bad for Guy Harrison right now. He got his hands full with these two. And there he goes. Wow, the crowd not uh not feeling Elijah Dean here. Oh, here he goes now. And the bell is being rung here, and these guys are about to get it on here at 2PW Prospect Pro Wrestling. Elijah Dean and Jason Tyler, the sexy fireman. And they're locking it up, folks. Oh, and now the sexy fireman squeezing the head of Elijah Dean. Question is, wait a minute now, Elijah Dean now. 
But he, oh, oh no, and a little bit of bump and grind here, and oh, Elijah Dean now feeling dirtier than an older boy in the Catholic Church. And right now, uh, Jason Tyler playing some uh, mind games with Elijah Dean. Elijah Dean, also known as the uh, the panty dropper showstopper here. <laughs> but I don't think that's affected Tyler whatsoever. These two sizing each other up again, and oh, wait a minute now. What a slap by the man down Elijah Dean, and oh! Tyler with a big right, and another one. I mean, the sexy fireman just, oh boy. I thought we were gonna see a big foreigner, and now Elijah Dean, uh oh. Elijah Dean just poked the bear. And now the sexy fireman, the sexy fireman in complete control. Couple rights, and uh, here we go, folks. Go for that big elbow. I don't think the chest chops are working there, Mr. Dean. And oh, the sexy fireman rolling over Elijah Dean here. Dean to his feet and a big giant fly and shoulder block by the sexy fireman. Tyler getting some control in his special. Oh, wait a minute now, the Mandime. Mandime has been around this business for a long time. He knows what he's doing here and up and over, flips him. Dean off the ropes. Tyler trying to miss. Catches him. Big power slam. And the man dime. What strength. My God. He got him up and over. Elijah Dean. No joke when it comes to professional wrestling. The man knows. What, oh, wait a minute. Now, Tyler. Tyler, I can't believe he got up from that. And now, up and over. Rolls him. Throws him in that corner. Here comes Dean. Oh, whoa. Dean caught himself just in time. He almost went head first into the concrete. And good Lord, Mandime sends him. Oh, wait a minute, Mandime now to that top rope. I mean, Tyler has to be on his feet. He has to be quick-witted. Cause oh, man, just tosses him like a sack of potatoes. What can the sexy fireman do right here? I mean, he just tossed him out faster than a senior prom tossing out R. Kelly. Up and over. Oh, he misses. Shoulder block too soon. Okay. Went back to the hatchet hand. And now Dean to the top rope. He's an R. Kelly fan, I hear. Up and over. Drop kick and a beauty. Good Lord. Dean just laid him out with it. And the sexy fireman in a little bit of, a little bit of trouble here. And now what does Elijah Dean have up his sleeve? We know he always has something up his sleeve. Very cat-like reflexes. Oh my goodness. Face first off the hardest party. Oh my. Are they really, he's really offering somebody to, are we gonna see a two? Oh, okay. He just slapped him across the face like he owed him money. Our two PW crowd, we don't mess with them here. And wait a minute. Throws him up and, oh, he catches him and Hauser behind Elijah Dean. Good Lord. I mean, that was the back, that was the behind, that was everything. And wait a minute, grabs that foot and, and now Tyler's down. Grabs up, oh, wait a minute, using that apron. Oh, what, come on now, where's the referee on this one? And now the sexy fireman stuck here. Yeah, the man I'm Elijah Dean now breaking the count. Smart veteran maneuver. Elijah Dean rolls him over. Oh, wait a minute. Sends him back in the ring. And now Tyler. Tyler's fired up. Are we about to see what I think we're about to see? And oh, kicks the ropes. Oh, my goodness. And. Elijah Dean hurting the Jonas Brothers, you could say, of Jason Tyler and DDT. Has it one, two, and no, only a two count, says Guy Harrison. And Elijah Dean, of course, arguing. Elijah Dean uh, also talking about his special skills, claims that he has the ability to take any man's girl. 
Very full of himself, this individual. Very arrogant, but he has to. He has to stay on top of his opponent. Jason Tyler is no joke and no pushover when it comes to professional wrestling. And right now, the Mandime pulling up the sexy fireman. What's going to happen here? And Okay, the chops did. Oh, the chops are actually starting. Oh, wait a minute now. Again, those chops have backfired on Dean almost the whole matchup. Dean takes him down. Oh, spinal tap. And throws one in front there. Leg drop. Beautifully executed. This crowd getting behind the sexy fireman here. And right now, the sexy fireman needs all the ladies with the dollar bills to cheer him on right now. Because he needs it. Here comes the man dime off the ropes and oh wait a minute. Tyler catches him before anything could be started here. Takes him down. And now Tyler trying to gain some momentum back in this matchup. He's asking for the crowd. Here he comes. And oh my goodness. Sit down splash. Only a two count. That was very close to being three, like a millisecond away. Tyler has to stay on his opponent. I mean, right now, I mean, Dean's had pretty much the momentum on the whole matchup. Tyler's slow to get up. He has him. Are we going to see what I think we're going to see? Uh-oh. If this is what I think it is, this is his maneuver. This is called the backdraft. Oh, wait a minute. Dean did his homework. Had a little bit of hair there. But Dean, uh, pretty much no stranger to the uh, rule-breaking bulk here. And another beautifully executed leg drop. My goodness. Dean's smiling. He thinks he has this already. Off the rope. Ha has him off the ropes. Oh, catches him. Kicked him in the head there for a minute. Oh, my. Oh, boy. And the sexy fireman about to. Oh, man. Dean just got out of there in the nick of time, or he was about to be a pancake. Delivers a right off the ribs. Dean goes, and another one. Dean trying to just pound his opponent to the ground and catches him, whirlwind. Good Lord. There's a five alarm fire somewhere, and I think Tyler just put it out. Only his two counts. Three count. These guys have been beating the hell out of each other for the last maybe 10, 15 minutes now. Both have to be gassed. Both have to be tired. Both slow to get up right now. My goodness. And Dean's to his feet first. Delivers that vicious right. And there's your receipt from Tyler. And another one from Elijah Dean. Oh, he catches him. Caught him off guard here. One, two, Tyler's got to go, three to grow on, and oh, that was a Brumski from hell, you could say, good lord, those are the pair that Elijah B does not want his face in, good lord, I'm saying D cup, but right now, oh boy. Elijah Dean's about to get a flashback from that Miley Cyrus concert he attended last month because here he comes like a wrecking ball! Good Lord! That was a face full of Tyler nobody wants. Has him up, this could be it! He's just weakened, and again, Dean with a super kick right to the face. Kicks him in the knee. Big boot! I think this is it, folks. One, two, only a two count. And the man dime, Elijah D. cannot believe his eyes. And right now, the crowd definitely behind Taylor here. Oh, misses him. Catches that. Super kick in it. One by Tyler. Wow. What a chilly by the big man. Got him. Got him up. Are we gonna see the backdraft? He has him up. That's it, that's his move, the backdraft. He has to pin him. Rolls over, one, two. Oh my God. Almost a three count, I cannot believe D kicked out of the backdraft. The man dime, even Tyler can't. Jason Tyler cannot believe what he just saw here. The sexy fireman 
He has to stay on top of him though. Oh, wait a minute, he took off. Is he gonna take off any more clothes? If we do, we have to get the children out of the building, folks. That's all there is to it. Has over. Misses on the clothesline. Oh, 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 referee. Good Lord, caught it with that arm. One, two, three, the makeover. Applied and sealed. Amanda and Elijah Dean victorious. And good lord. I cannot believe that was one hell of a matchup, folks. Back and forth they went. But Elijah Dean able to capitalize and catching the sexy fireman and putting out any kind of five alarm fire that Tyler had to be winning this matchup. The man known as the Twisted Steel and Sex Appeal, the Tom Brady of professional wrestling, the panty dropper showstopper. That's right, Alasia Dean, victorious here. But give it up for Jason Tyler. I mean, my God, he fought one hell of a matchup. Bell and Philip Archer making their way to the ring and these guys want revenge and what I mean by that is LaBelle and Archer were both jumped by the ETF last 2PW event and you can just see right now pretty much the determination and what they want to do here LaBelle with that judo background Archer with that martial arts background but they do have their hands full folks and I'm talking about the E T. Making his way to the ring and uh, claims he's from South Philly, Japan. I would really like to know where the hell South of Philly, Japan is from. This crowd just despises this man. And of course, his uh, manager, Bob the Goon, Bob the Goon always sticking his nose where it don't belong. Oh, wait a minute now, LaBelle and Archer, maybe they're, uh, they're getting off the ring. Uh, maybe they're playing on, uh, oh, wait a minute now, Hooven. Playing it smart, playing some mind games here. Oh, he's asking for the mic. Great. Well. So, 
if any of you have the internet out here, I, I, I won't be surprised if you know my partner, Santana Diamond, is not here tonight because he has much more important things to do. He's in Pittsburgh, which y'all call the city, at the Wiz Khalifa concert backstage. Hooven have up his sleeve. That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. Yikes. Yeah, they had to. So my fantasy partner, I don't really want to get somebody from local like Judo, aka Haru the White League. Yes, yes, Judo is a martial art. Something that I know more about in this game from this area. So let's, let's just call on an Asian, unlike him. This is part of my culture, so show some respect. So, are we done yet? Are we done yet? has to be frustrated right now. I mean, this crowd is not letting him get a word in. Okay, let's, let, let's just stop this. This is not okay to be racist towards me. So my partner, I made a phone call to the West Coast, the Hollywood. I wanted somebody that was strong, somebody that was just as tough as me and Bob dude. Oh, really? But you're not in this ring. Yeah, yeah. Where's the security? Anyway, I'd like to introduce my tag team partner. Somebody so great, so important, that champion from in her name. Her? What do you mean, her? New York Lumber Productions. She has DTS for her sound. Who is it? gentlemen. I don't think they're going to put their hands on a lady. Then again, you know, I mean, she signed up for this matchup, so I guess we're going to have ourselves a tag team match. Uh, Hooven and Arquette taking on LaBelle and Archer. Sensation getting these guys uh, ready to go here. Hooven not being able to get some words in, and the bell has been rung. We have ourselves a, I wouldn't say a mix, sort of a mixed tag match. Now remember, again, one more time, Judo and Archer getting this crowd. I mean, this working through the crowd behind them here. The working for the Civic Center. What is 
with Hooven and keep it quiet. Is that how they are in South Philly, Japan? Then again, where the hell is South Philly, Japan? I'm confused. And now, this is the day Steve LaBelle has been waiting for. LaBelle wants to get his hands on Hooven. I mean, being jumped last time, two people, have you had an event here? Oh, wait a minute. I get oh, he's ready to go. Judo showing off those guns. The one thing that Archer and LaBelle have to understand is that guy, Bob the Coon, and pushing him down. No bad straight, and the crowd goes nuts here watching Hooven be thrown on his Hooven. What? Who what? Oh, the hair? Get your ridiculous. All right, I guess he's going to go ahead and file a complaint that he pulled his hair. Oh, wait a minute. Hooven wants a piece of. That's right. The survivor, Philip Archer. And Archer tagged in this ring. And Philip Archer now going to lock it up here with Hooven. These two about to lock it up here. I think Hoover doesn't understand. Archer has a martial arts background too. Claiming he's from Philadelphia. South Philly, Japan. Still won't understand that the day I die. And now Archer here. Archer, a rookie, coming up through the ranks here. And oh, misses him with that kick. Hooven, uh, Hooven likes to run his mouth. Oh, wait a minute, you never, never turn your back on Hooven. Hooven sends Archer into ropes. Big clothesline by Hooven, and now trying to take advantage here of the survivor, Philip Archer. And now, sends him at, oh wait a minute, reversal by Archer. Hooven into the opposite corner, catches him. Clotheslines him into the corner there. Oh, kicked in the midsection. There's that martial arts background we were talking about earlier. And now the survivor, Philip Archer, has him. Kicked to the back of the head. Hooven's two. I thought we were going to see an upset there. My goodness. He about kicked his head clean off. Those on there. Oh, wait a minute. He's going to tag in LaBelle. LaBelle asking for the crowd's approval here. Archer tags him in. Little double team action here. And oh, how's your arm, Mr. Hooven? And now taking advantage of a weak arm there. Piece by piece, these guys are trying to decimate their opponent. We have yet to see the queen of the silver screen, Katie Arquette, in the ring now. And now Archer up to that second rope and boom! Does Hooven even have an arm left? Couldn't even reach the tag as his partner. Twisting the arm is Philip Archer. Judo, Judo wants to do one more here. Judo owes him. I don't blame him. Oh, we're going to the top for this one, though, folks. LaBelle has him up. Look at the balance and precision. And bam! Pulls that arm. Dan Hooven in trouble now. Twist his arm, and all Bob the Goon and Arquette can do is just watch here. Takes him down, and now Archer taking advantage off the ropes. Sent on, lands him. Off the ropes again, and the survivor, Philip Archer, in control, only a two count. Little bit of argument with the ref there. I thought it was a two count, and oh, rake to the eyes. And again, Hooven pulling a page out of the Rule Breakers handbook. Sends in that opposite corner. Here comes Hooven. Shoulder block to the lower abdominal area, and now has him in that corner. And Hooven taking, taking advantage of Archer. Off the ropes he goes, catches him. Reverse neck breaker, takes him down. And now Hooven 
No love lost between those two. What the, is going on here? Philip Archer, referee's trying to tend to him and trying to move and drug Judo into the ring there. Oh, here we go. Katie Arquette has been tagged in this matchup. And someone's getting a face full of Arquette. Good Lord. Here she goes. The queen of the silver screen. And if anything, Archer and LaBelle are seeing the screen, but not her silver screen. What is, Arquette's a little bit tired. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, she's a little bit tired there. She could go ahead and tag in. I mean, that was a lot of butt bumping. I mean, I have to tell you there. And uh, well, Hooven tried and uh, didn't work out too well for him. Should I try again? Nope. Hooven feeling more sore than Nick Foles after that last playoff game. Tags in Arquette. Oh, what a takedown. And Archer just hit his face off the mat. And now, Katie Arquette is a rough customer, folks. She's wrestled all around the areas, held multiple titles in multiple areas. And the queen of the silver screen now taking advantage of a weakened Philip Archer. And right now, Philip Archer getting his head crushed like a grape here. Arquette looking like that main villain in Goldeneye. You remember that scene? Who didn't? Right, using those legs to crush ahead, and now Hooven taking advantage of a CJ Sensation's back turn. And good lord, Sensation has to start focusing on Archer. I mean, Arquette and Hooven are just taking advantage. Wait a minute now, Archer with a reversal misses that clothesline, and here comes his Arquette with a straight and shoulder block. Arquette bouncing off of him. One, two, and no, only a two count says to CJ Sensation. Arquette arguing the three count here. And Philip Archer now getting manhandled by Katie Arquette. And the queen of the silver screen in control now. Her uncle David, that's right. David Arquette, her uncle David would be very proud of her today. Oh, wait a minute, now Philip Archer, two shots to the solar plexus, but it just wasn't enough. Arquette still in control of this matchup. And Philip Archer, what a takedown. Up and leg drop. One, two, and no, only a two count. And Arquette is getting a little bit frustrated here. Judo just begging his partner for a tag. If LaBelle gets in there, will there be some injustice invoked here on the ETF? You know, I, backstage, I actually asked Hooven what ETF meant. Told me none of my effing business. And right now, Hooven sends Archer off the road. Close line. And now, Philip Archer is in trouble. Oh my goodness, Hooven. Just punishing, I mean, he is a brawler, folks. We've seen it before, and we're seeing it right now. He is just punishing his opponent, decimating him head to toe. And he is just beating the holy hell out of the survivor, Philip Archer. Oh, kick to the midsection. And right now, Arquette tagged in. A Little bit of double team action here. Arquette and Hooven. And, oh, wait a minute, this is it. Catches him, DDT. Good acting. I guess Arquette taught Hooven a couple things. One, two, and no. Only a two count again. There's a lot of fight in the Survivor. That's how he got his name. Can Archer make that tag? That's the question. Twisting the arm. Sends him in that opposite corner. Arquette in control. Delivers that forearm. And what I, one thing I've noticed, Katie Arquette has not taken any offensive moves whatsoever. She's been pretty much on the offensive the whole time. And right now, Hooven double knee to the face. Two and no. Archer kicked out again. What strength, what determination this kid has. 
Bob the Goon's had a pretty easy day today, not sticking his nose where it don't belong. Boy, that's different. And right now, this crowd trying to get behind Archer. This Prospect Pro Wrestling crowd. And right now, can the 2PW crowd get behind Philip Archer? And Philip Archer, a couple shots in. Oh, who would use that hair? He pulled the hair. Just when you thought Archer was going to get a momentum, Hooven takes it right away. Oh, look at him right now. Stretching him right in front of his friend. And Hooven playing some mind games now, especially for LaBelle, who just wants to get in there and get some justice, get some revenge from what happened to him last time. Shot to the face, and now Hooven sends him. Oh, wait a minute. Mishap. Here comes Archer. Pushed into the ropes. Here comes Hooven. Big shoulder block. And wait a minute. Hooven doesn't know, but the tag's been made. Katie. Kent telling him to turn around. And Hooven. Big surprise. And that big surprise is LaBelle. Stephen LaBelle taking advantage of a weekend Hooven here. Has him up belly to belly. It landed. What is going to happen here? Arquette could just watch. Hooven now. Archer still weakened from that beating he took a little bit earlier. Has him in the corner. Oh, he tags Archer back in. Archer's ready to go again. Here we go. Archer flings him into there. Oh, wait a minute now. Archer has him in. Oh, my goodness. Through the ropes. My God, Hooven's in trouble. He has him. Frog splash and a beauty. LaBelle lands it. We have a pinfall. One, two, and of course, Bob the Goon sticking his nose where it don't belong. That was a three count. That win belongs to Archer and LaBelle. I cannot believe it. Oh, Bob the Goon now fighting with the crowd here. Oh, wait a minute. That's LaBelle's dad. That's Steve LaBelle's dad. You don't argue with someone's dad. Oh, and Judas fired up now, man. Bob the Goon better watch it. But wait, we got a ring here. Hooven. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Arquette is playing some uh, mind games here. On the outside, LaBelle needs to turn around. He needs to turn around like right now. Oh, shot to the midsection. And now Arquette has him. Oh my God, are we gonna see a, oh no. As this has happened on the outside, on the inside folks, Katie Arquette is trying to suplex the survivor, Phil Archer. Oh, wait a minute. Hooven grabs the foot. Oh, are you kidding me? One, two, three, it's over! ETF is victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match, Ted Hoover and the Queen of the Silver Screen, Katie Arquette! All right, folks, let me break it down to you one time while what happened. LaBelle's father, Jumping in a ring and sticking up for his son, of course, with Bob the Goon interfering. But Katie Arquette was about to be suplexed by the survivor, Philip Archer. Hooven grabs the foot. And of course, like always, ETF getting away with murder. I just, this is sickening. LaBelle and Archer were robbed, but I doubt Hooven. And I doubt. Did he just rip? He just ripped LaBelle's father's side. What a bunch of scumbags! You gotta be kidding me. Again, ETF victorious, and Archer and LaBelle robbed. My goodness.
Well, second half here of 2PW Prospect for Wrestling. And this man... making his way to the ring, the self-proclaimed only real Italian, only legit Italian, pardon me, in pro wrestling. Man claims he's the greatest wrestler and greatest dancer in the world. And uh, he got some fans here in the crowd. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of Mambo signs here. But he has his hands full tonight with a man who has made his way through the Indies, left and right. I'm talking about a man by the name of Chest Flex. Former IWC High Stakes Champion. Chess Flexer making his way to the ring, and uh, usually he's used to calling the stipulations, you could say, to his matches, but unfortunately, I think two weekends ago, he lost the IWA, uh, IWC High Stakes Championships, and uh, of course him, uh, Mambo, not a fan of Chess Flexer, so, escorted by his beautiful valet, Ginger, what is in store tonight for these two here at 2PW? The roof is about to be blown off this building. And I think Chip. Chess Flexor requesting the microphone. So what does Chess Flexor have in store? I mean, he doesn't have the IWC belt anymore. Or excuse me, I, IWC I States Championship anyway. Here's the former champion. <laughs> so, unfortunately for Mambo, I used to be the IWC High States Champion, and that championship was going to be on the line tonight. You was the I seventy I say championship. I will take any bell around your base. So this is me. I will be the stipulation. And you know what the contest will be? It will be a dance contest. Okay, he always. Oh boy, we all know this. 
Taliano, he hates Olive Garden, folks. He's made a note of mine. with a bunch of spaghetti folks and uh bring out some more pasta alright we have more pasta to bring up we are having ourselves ladies and gentlemen a pasta death match how in the hell do you have a pasta death match that's the question I want to know is it a variety because if it's Olive Garden that's pretty much Italiano's uh Kryptonite. I mean, I, it's my kryptonite. I eat it all the time. I mean, free breadsticks? Who would? But what I'm saying, folks, is Italiano hates the Olive Garden. So Flexor has pretty much the mind game already going here with Mambo Italiano. He is just irate. I mean, I'd be irate too if someone hit me with a bunch of spaghetti. Okay, the bell has been rung, and Chess Flex are taking on Mamba Italiano. And uh, I guess we're gonna, this is gonna be nothing but a food fight, folks. Okay, well, Flexor's in the lead here with uh, three hard noodles, and oh my. <coughs> and Mamba Italiano getting things started here, pushing Flexor out the ring. Big punch to the head and oh, slams his face off that apron. And I guess we're gonna, this is gonna be, I haven't seen something like this since the Three Stooges. Oh, wait a minute. Mambo Italiano looking like an evil Freddy Krueger from Italy. He hasn't started. Oh my goodness. And Italiano taking control of this matchup. I think Flexor bit off a little more than he could chew. Or a little bit too many. Uh, Chess Flexor just slammed his face right off that pole. And Italiano in control. But Mamba Italiano going over and getting some more uh, pasta here. I'm kind of hungry. There we go. What kind do we have now? Okay, Italiano now. Oh, wait a minute. Flexor stopping. Oh, big elbow to the solar plexus. Italiano up on that apron, trying to measure his opponent out. Wait a minute. Pump boy or He just whipped him. And. He just landed back first on all those hard noodles. Now, folks, if you don't know, if the noodles aren't cooked, they're hard as stone. This is gonna, this is gonna get ugly. The Worthington Civic Center getting a little uh, tour of Italy, you could say, here tonight. And all Flexor returning the favor here. Oh my goodness! If there ever was an Italian version of Freddy Krueger, it's happening now. Good Lord. Oh my, that's... That, okay, that is, cooked, that is cooked spaghetti right there. That is cooked pasta. I think it's angel hair. Okay, I, I am really fearing... I, and okay, the whole Mambo Italian is... The Mambo section has been covered in Boston. Good 
Good lord. Money shots for everybody. And face first off the... I can't believe it. Everybody here is either laughing or crying. Ring announcers crying. Out of laughter. Anyways, this is insane, folks. This is nothing but a big... Oh, my God. And there's spaghetti everywhere. The crowd retaliating back these kids. They just pasta all over the ropes, folks. And now Flexor has brought out a bed of pasta. Not a bed of spikes. A bed of pasta. Call Flexor, Alice Cooper. Time for you to get into your bed of nails. Oh my goodness. Hey, it's coming over here, folks. Has him up. I thought we were going to see him slam on that. Italiano fighting back now. Flexor going for a suplex in. Mambo stopping him in his tracks now. Sends him off the road. And oh! Flexor catching himself in time. And no one's gotten a bit of pasta yet. And Mambo now. And wait a minute. What, what's going on here? Pump Boy or D. Right to the Olsen twins. Has him. Flexor got the pasta. Flexor got the pasta. Fans are still throwing spaghetti into the ring, folks. I think a three-year-old got hit. One. Two. No. No. Only a two count. So close. Flexor getting out of harm's way. The former IWC High Stakes Champion of all the stipulations in the world. We have ourselves. What is this? Wait a minute. I see Parmesan cheese. And I see a box of... I think it's even... I think those are the... Uh, that's Parmesan cheese! He's blinded, folks. Flexor has him. Has him up. And, oh, my goodness. Driving him right on the skull. Rolls him up. But first neck breaker right on the pasta. This could be it, folks. Flexor pins him. One, two, three. It's over. The pasta death match has happened. History has been made here in Worthington, Pennsylvania. Flexor victorious, and you have to thank the Olive Garden. You have to thank Great Value. You have to thank everybody that's probably contributed to this match. The first ever pasta death match in history. I've seen folks covered in blood, of course, according to Guar. I've seen water, thanks, Ozzy. I've never seen a crowd get covered in pasta before. My goodness, victorious again one more time, Chess Flexor, accompanied by his valet Ginger, and of course, Pump Boy RD. Hey, if there's any left over, I could use some for tomorrow's Sunday dinner. Huh? Oh, what the hell, we're done here, folks. But uh, most of all, I've seen him bloody and batter his opponents. There's a reason they call him Death Proof, folks. And if you've not seen this man ever in action, you don't know what you're missing.
Country Hammer, Jamie Jameson, making his way to the ring. The question remains, you got two brawlers in the ring. People that just love to cause pain in both McBride and Jameson. The question is, who? Who is going to come out on top on this one? The Country Hammer from the backwoods. Bronco McBride down there, pretty much harassing the family of Jamie Jameson. This crowd getting behind Jameson here, chanting the name, the Country Hammer. Two PW crowd, I think what they were just uh, invited to partake in the first ever pasta death match in history. Now we have these two gargantuans going at it left and right. That's right, I'm talking about McBride and I'm talking about Jameson. And these guys are about to lock it up here tonight at Worthington Civic Center. McBride already concentrating on the crowd. He should be concentrating on his opponent, Jamie Jameson. He is something you, of course, you do not want to uh, provoke, you could say. I've seen this man use barbed wire. I've seen this man use weapons, but then again, I've also seen McBride. Oh, I'm gonna do a little test of strength here. And... All right, McBride starting to, and slaps him in the face. Using those ropes, and Bronco McBride already starting the mind games. I've seen McBride break his opponents down both mentally and physically. And now the test of strength being happening. And now the Country Hammer showing. Kick to the leg. And now kicking his leg out from him. Smart maneuver by McBride. But then again, McBride, no slouch. A veteran here in his business. And now the Country Hammer taking it. And another one. And I just think a tooth of McBride's went into the third row. Big boom by the Country Hammer. Has him up, back body drop. Landed and a beauty. Rolls out the ring. And now McBride has to recollect himself a little bit. The Country Hammer, I mean, that big boot took a lot out of McBride, but then again, they, they call him death proof for a reason, folks. McBride, of course, shouting some obscenities at Jameson's family. McBride's done. He's leaving. Oh, wait a minute, though. Jameson has him. Throws him right back. Oh, I thought he was going to throw him in the ring. Threw him ribs first into that apron. And now these two brawlers outside. One place you don't want to see neither of them. And now McBride, right in front of his family, puts, pretty much takes James's head and just slams it off the barrier. McBride now trying to recollect. Referee was at the count of five, and now Bronco McBride back in the ring. Here comes the country hammer, though. He looks about 50 shades of, oh, he's about 50 shades of nothing right now. Drop kicks him out of the ring. And now Bronco McBride loading up for something here. Jameson slow to get up. Here comes Death Cruz. McBride catches him. He took a lot out of him on that one. The Country Hammer in some trouble. And now. And Bronco McBride. He needs to capitalize on this. Again, one, two, and... What's he doing? Just, looks like he's toying with him just a little bit. Then again, McBride. Oh, shot to the midsection. And McBride keeping his opponent down off his feet. Wrong to McBride. Again, McBride focusing on the crowd and not his opponent and it's starting to starting to wear thin here and again 
I think Jameson hurt his knee. And now McBride has found a target. McBride, again, like I said, decimates his opponents from head to toe, physically, mentally. And he is doing that right now. That injured leg of Jameson, is he going to work on that? And right now, causing a lot of pain. Thrusting himself into the ribs. The country hammer. And we loads him up in. Oh my goodness. Kicked him right in the banjo cords. Good lord. And again, McBride. That brawler mentality that just just dissecting his opponent now choking the life out of Jameson here we've seen Jameson come back though from more and Jameson again no joke in the wrestling business and now he's just choking him with his foot oh my goodness death for Uncle McBride McBride's calling out somebody here I think this is family this is family and Janie's here and oh wait a minute Janie with that big country ham hock those are two of them. And McBride again, targeting the leg, the injured leg of the country hammer. Oh my God, all the weight on his leg. He's going to try to snap that thing off. I mean, that is what Death, Death Proof Bronco McBride does. And now McBride twisting that boot. Oh, he's grabbing the beard. That was a face full of beard right there. Only a one count. Bronco's starting to get a little mad here. Jamie Jamison in trouble. He can't even stand on his. And right now, got that chin lock applied, and he is just taking the air out of the country hammer. Something that McBride is could have done. Oh, wait a minute, though. Jamison to his feet. You can still see that leg. A little weak on that leg, and... Oh, no lift. And McBride just caught him right in the gut. And kicked him. Good Lord, Jameson feeling like he spent a night in prison. Has him over. And Bronco McBride just loves toy, not only with his opponents, but love... Oh! And now Bronco... Is he poking the bear or is he dissecting his opponent? Because one thing about Jamie Jameson, we've seen him get mad. We've seen that, that country hammer come back from everything. But I don't know if he's coming back from this one. I mean, Bronco McBride is just constantly staying on top of his opponent, pounding away. And right now, McBride to the second rope. He needs to focus on his opponent. He doesn't need to focus on the crowd right now. He's high stakes here. Has him up. Catches him. Sit out. Power bomb. Holy shnikes. McBride. I mean, my God. Sheamus had caught McBride and just slammed him to the canvas. What a beautifully executed sit out. Power bomb. Both of these individuals slow to get up. Of course, Jameson from just the onslaught that McBride was putting him through. But right now, these two are both are at their feet now. Good Lord. Jameson trying to gain some momentum here, but McBride trying to keep that lead. These two back and forth, receipt after receipt. And never mind, these two fisticuffs left and right off the ropes. Big elbow by the country hammer. Trying to come back in his match. Gaining momentum. Has him. Picks him up. McBride to his feet. Agility. Has him swing around it. Oh my goodness. This crowd is appreciating the match. These guys putting their bodies on the line tonight. My God. Sensation to the count of two. Both competitors are down. Who's going to get up first? That's the question. I mean, both of these guys have been beating the holy hell out of each other. Jameson to his feet first, which is hard to believe, especially McBride attacking the leg. 
Has him to the top rope now. McBride might be in a little bit of trouble here. What does the Country Hammer have in store? James into that second rope. Right now, both of these guys in harm's way. Has him. We can see a superplex here. They're going to take the roof off the of Worthington Civic Center here tonight. My God. Now McBride. Oh, McBride's going to try to dump him outside this ring, folks. He does this. There's going to be injured people, bodies. These two back and forth. Oh, wait a minute. The country he ever had. Belly to belly. My God, that was a belly to belly turned into just a country toss. The crowd's describing that. Good Lord. And Jameson, the only one in the ring that grinds out. Sensations at the count of three. Jamie's rolling out. Jamie wants to finish this fight. Knowing the country hammer. He got a hold of McBride here. Thought we were about to see a pile driver here. And right now, both of these guys are just exhausted. I mean, beating the living hell out of each other. Both of these guys slow. They're both up on the apron here. Neither are in the ring yet. This is like Godzilla versus King Kong. Just let him fight. Oh my goodness. Right now, my God, you can just hear the pounding. What is about to happen here? And McBride catches Jamie Jameson. And now the country hammer in a little bit of trouble. What's Death Proof have in store? Here comes McBride up and over. He catches him and oh, what a knee. Catches country hammer, has him. Oh, both knees in the back of the head. Driving the cranium to the top. McBride has to pin him here. This is it, folks. I think this is over. One. Two, only a two count. I can't believe Jameson kicked out from that. My God, I mean, that was completely, completely. His skull just over to the ground. I can't even talk right now this match. These guys are beating the tar out of each other. McBride saying, count him out. He's done. Wait a minute, though. McBride's off the ring, too. What's going on? What is up in Cry Sleep? What is he doing over there? Oh, I see. I think that's an illegal object. Yes, it is. What is up, Bronco McBride Sleep? And now he was trying to take off that turnbuckle. He better watch. He gets caught with something in his hand. That's an automatic disqualification. And right now, he's just, he's taking off that turnbuckle. Why is Sensation not turning around here? Well, of course, he's checking on the country hammer himself. Oh, he has that. And oh my goodness. Country, ha country hammer had him, and oh my goodness. DVD, Death Valley Driver, Spicoli Driver, whatever you want to call it. Good Lord. Country Hammer's done. This is it, folks. McBride covers him. One, two, no! Jamison kicked out again? I can't believe it. McBride's getting frustrated. You can just tell he's pulling out everything in his arsenal and nothing is working right now. But remember that loosened turnbuckle. Oh, what's McBride doing? Oh, McBride. That turnbuckle was exposed. Has him over and over. Oh, my goodness. Twice. That was an overexposed turnbuckle. Death Proof just caught him. What is going on here? What is the referee trying to do here?
he's knocked out, folks. McBride getting away with murder. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the back of soul of a knockout. Bronco McBride. What can I say? Jamie Jameson was caught off guard. And McBride capitalizing on this. I can't believe what I just saw, folks. Exposing that turnbuckle. And the country hammer taking a loss here. Not by pinfall. Not by submission. But by straight knockout. And McBride taking him out that forearm. And all I can say is this. Jamie Jameson is hurt, folks. I mean, his head wrapped off that under that exposed turnbuckle. I still can't believe CJ Sensation has not seen this. I think there's pretty much an eye appointment in his future because somebody needs glasses. All right, folks. Making his way to the ring right now, a man who pretty much needs no introduction. Pulpit Club is in the house, folks. We've seen many, and oh, he got the mic. Now that you guys have puckered up and kissed every part of you possibly could, allow me to spread a little truth to all of you heathens out here tonight. What'd you say? I can't hear you. What? You think this is funny? Is this your dad? Is this your dad? I feel sorry for you. You say I have no balls. Let me just ask you one question, Sarah. How does it feel to be the biggest mistake that your mom and dad ever made in the history of your life? The test group, baby. You better shut your mouth. Your mom knows all about these balls, trust me. You keep laughing and talking, I'm going to give you a chance to tell us what we're going on Snapchat too. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not out here to suck a job. I'm just trying here to get you guys to say one thing. I am Prospect Pro Wrestling, and you can preach that. <laughs> so what's going to happen is, we're going to make this something short, sweet, to the point. We're going to have two of these heathens come out. The Red is about to get in the ring with these two inbreds, and I'm going to give you a sermon you're not going to want to forget. Because you already know that the Red has Nice enough to greet the fans here, to be tell you. All right, this guy here scares me. Ran into him backstage. He just kept looking at me and laughing. Like a maniacal kind of laugh. Ryan Dye making his way to the ring. We got ourselves some, uh, what can I say, religion and science. If I'm Ron Hunt, I am staying clear of this psychopath. I mean, the man sports a no equal sign on his chest. If you see the equal sign, folks, there's a cross between it because he pretty much claims there is no equals compared to him. His intellectual, uh... And their opponents 
capacity, he feels that his intellectual capacity is higher than everybody else's. I'm just scared of him eating a child. But then again, you know, it is what it is. ring and this crowd is behind him 100% high flyer this guy very quiet very precise but the man gets the job done in the ring folks it's a torn flight Hunt versus die versus flight. Science versus religion versus gravity. We have it here. Right here, Worthington Civic Center. That's right. Oh my goodness. He just tore up a fan sign. You call that being a man of God? Seriously? Ron Hunt, and the bell has been rung here tonight. Die versus Flight versus Hunt. Oh, wait a minute, and Die. I guess science and religion can last together. And they're going to take on Torn Flight here. Torn Flight, rough customer as it is. Oh, back elbow by Flight. Catches Die with both feet. Flight, where he's most dangerous. Up and double drop kick and a beauty by Torn Flight. Takes Hunt. Wait a minute. Hunt reverses it. Flight off the ropes. Catches it. Ooh, Karana and a beauty. Off the ropes. And another one. And he returns the same favor to Professor Die there. And Ryan Die now. Attacking Hunt has him. Flight catches him with elbow. And Torn Flight pretty much making a mockery of both religion and science here. And Gravity's winning, folks. This crowd getting behind Torn Flight right now. Lines up Hunt, catches him on the ropes, swings him over, and he takes both out. Torn Flight. My God, my, not only does this man have speed, High flying ability. I mean, the man has such strength. And for being a high flyer, the man, here he goes, quiet, precise, like an assassin. And I thought Torn Flight, wait a minute, Torn Flight go to the top rope. Up over, catches him, flying body press. He takes them both out. Holy shnikes. I can't believe what I'm seeing here. Torn Flight is just putting a show on tonight. A clinic, you could say. Up and over he goes. Flips it over. Lands it. Could this be it? One. Only a one count. Now remember, this is a triple threat match, folks. Every man for himself. Ron Hunt. And oh, die. Trying to come in at that. Ron Hunt with a big boot to Flight's face. And now Die and Hunt double teaming here. Torn Flight. And, uh,. They had a pretty tough time last time doing this. Good lord, this is a triple threat match. And the professor beautifully executed suplex. And now, first of all, if I'm Ron Hunt, am I trusting the professor here? What? Ron Hunt saying, watch how a real man does it. Trying to teach him a wow, Ron Hunt, precise and just did you watch the body? Little bit of a hop with that suplex. I mean, driving the spine of Torn Flight down on that canvas. Flight's hurt, folks. I mean, that both those suplexes were pretty vicious. And now, what is the professor doing here? Equations or what? 
I mean, the man's from an underground laboratory. Do you really trust him? Let's talk about another person that had an underground laboratory. Oh, double team. Wait, rolls up. Oh, now, that was a smooth maneuver by the professor trying to... Uh, remember, it's every man for himself. Big boot to the face, and now Ron Hunt has just lost it, folks. No more is it going to be a double team effort. This has officially now become a triple threat match. Kick to the midsection. And now the Rev teaching the Holy Scripture here to the professor. Good Lord. Put that in your book, Darwin. One, only a one count, says Guy. And right now, again, Ron Hunt. I'll say it once. I'll say it again. A lot of people focus on the crowd. you got to focus on your opponent. The minute you take your eyes off the opponent, that could be could be it. Your opponent could capitalize. But Ron Hunt now has that chin lock on Professor Ryan Dye. Now, wait a minute. Uh-oh now. Dye trying to come back here. Throws Dye off the ropes. Hunt misses that clothesline. Misses the back elbow. Has him. Oh, it rolls him up. One. Only a one count. And Ryan Dye. Oh. One, two, and only a two count. Ryan Dye can't believe it. I mean, he caught Ron Hunt with that pretty much close quarters DV, or D, DDT. And now Stomp in the back. Torn Flight is still down. I mean, he took some vicious, vicious suplexes. And right now, oh, here he comes. Drop kicks the professor. Good Lord. I mean, Flight just drove the professor into the Reverend. And right now, climbing those ropes. He's at the top rope. And Ron Hunt, though, smart wrestling maneuver, shaking the ropes. I mean, that's where Torn Flight's most dangerous. And now the Rev, Ron Hunt. Has him right where, right where he wants him. Are we going to see a superplex here? A superplex from the heavens. Oh, wait a minute, though. Rev got to worry. Ryan Dye is on the bottom here. What is going to happen here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That could be it, folks. Don't go chasing waterfalls in the words of TLC. Only a two count. Good Lord. And Torn Flight took the most of that one. Ryan Dye not going over. Two. Almost a three count. And Professor starting to lose it here. But then again, I think he lost it about five years ago. Hailing from an underground laboratory. And then again. Oh. Ron catches him with right. Ryan Dye returning. These two exchanging punches. Torn Flight still slow to get up. I mean, he was on the top of that monstrosity that fell over a couple of minutes ago. And now Ron Hunt. A little bit of brawl. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Rolls him over. One, two... We almost seen Rev Ron Hunt in a, pretty much a crucifixion there. Good Lord. And right now, Torn Flight catches. How's your face, Professor Die? One, two, two. Ron Hunt just drop kicked the head of Torn Flight. My God, Ryan Dye's cranium has to be ringing right now. He's going to have to take half a bottle of Advil. Good Lord. The Rev lining up toward flight. Oh, I thought he was going to land up straight. There. And Ron Hunt is officially out the ring. Torn Flight just caught him. Torn Flight to that second rope. Oh, he's the top rope. Oh, splash! He lands it. I'm going to go ahead. One, two. Ron Hunt. Who to crawl off the back? Flight catches him. Lights up. Good Lord. Torn flight went to the heavens and come crashing down. Courtesy of, of Ron Hunt. 
Hunt has die up. Up and good. One, two, three. Hunt's victorious. The Rev Ron Hunt victorious and using the uh, body, you could say, of the Professor Ryan Dye and getting the pinfall on Torn Flight. This was a well-fought match by all three competitors, but Ron Hunt not just using the physical game, but using the mental game and being victorious in this matchup. Give it up to both Torn Flight and Professor Ryan Dye. I mean, they did what they could, but they were not victorious. Again, the Revron Hunt showing why he's dubbed, self-dubbed, excuse me, the savior of professional wrestling. Unbelievable. darkness has plagued this 2PW crowd and one thing about Gory, Gory will bite you, Gory will attack you, Gory will make you bleed, Gory will just plain hurt you, but Gory has a huge steamroller coming at him tonight and I hope he has done his homework, which I know Gory has done. And introducing his opponent. a matchup and the bell has been rung and Gory and Roden just staring down at each other this crowd getting behind Roden Gory the leader one of the, one of the founding members of the colonization the colonization so I wonder tonight, will we see any other members out here? Roden's head better be on a swivel. So wait a minute. This crowd already trying to keep Gory's head, but it's going to take a lot more. That's going to take like a crowbar to get him. Did he just spit on the chest of John Roden? That's like spitting on a brick wall. Now it's a party. Roden puts Corey in the corner and is driving that weight right into his ribs. Here comes the juggernaut, and good lord. Corey being on the receiving end of some punishment here. And the juggernaut, John Roden, in control. Sends Gory up over. Gory catches himself just in time. Corey 
Oh, Gory landing back first on that apron. And now John Roden. John Roden still looking at his chest. That was a huge sign. One thing about spitting on people, though, folks, that is a huge sign of disrespect. And Roden, I think, is teaching Gory a lesson in respect right now. Oh, wait a minute. Gory trying to climb back in the ring, and the juggernaut. Oh! Driving the back, the spine of Gory into that ring. And now the juggernaut, John Roden, in control. Face first off their apron. And Gory. Oh, wait a minute. Gory now. Shot to the midsection. Has it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Gory hit his head off that rope. And then the apron. I wonder if Gory knows where he's at right now. Gory now holding his eye. Head off that turnbuckle. And now the juggernaut, John Roden, lining him up in again. Flying torpedo. Has him up. Just tossed him like a sack of potatoes, and Gory is in pain. I've seen Gory take some beatings in my life. I've never seen Gory just tossed around like a ragdoll right now. Roden has him up. Beautifully executed sidewalk slam. One. Only a two count, says referee CJ Sensation. who has been a big, uh, has a lot of fan uh, favorites here tonight. Off the ropes, Juggernaut misses the clothesline and catches Gory. He, <coughs> he just caught Gory in midair. And Gory climbing all over him like a spider monkey, but not enough. Roden delivers that forearm, has him up. He's biting the fingers. One, I said before, I'll say it again. Gory will make you bleed. Gory will bite you. Gory will sacrifice himself just to hurt you. Draped Odin's neck over the ropes there. Good Lord. 2PW, folks, that's where it's at. And right now we're seeing that with Roden and Gory. What a main event here tonight at the Warrington Civic Center. And now Gory gaining some momentum here. And he is just clawing, kicking, punching, biting, whatever he can to take down the juggernaut. My God. You want to get technical. It's like watching the Wolverine and Juggernaut in the old comics days. Gory, of course, taking the role from Hugh Jackman. Someone needs to. He retired. And now Gory breaking the count. Smart veteran maneuver by Gory. Gory. This is... Gory just misses. And that could be a broken hand, folks. And now Roden has found a pretty much a soft spot, you could say. And, oh, wait a minute. Gory found two of them. Those were his eyes. Good Lord. Roden. I mean, if he can't use his eyes, he's pretty much done here. It's like Stevie Wonder walking into traffic. And right now, Gory taking advantage. John Roden. And Gory now. Oh, wait a minute. Thought Roden threw that elbow, but now Gory trying to take the momentum back. And this is where Gory's just vicious. When Gory's mad. And it, oh my goodness, Gory just both feet to the cranium of the juggernaut. John Roden, I mean, still having trouble. He still can't see. You can still swing around. What a kick to the head. Gory having some trouble rolling the big guy over. Only two counts to CJ Sensation. And right now. Gory now, a little bit of trouble. Roden starting to come back though. Two shots to the gut, big forearm. Here comes the juggernaut and no. Gory that drop to hold. Gory, body presses him against those ropes. Those ropes don't give folks sometimes and Roden's hurt. Gory now, lining him up. Gory has him, Roden, missile, drop kick and a beauty. One. Two and no! Only the count of two says sensation. Roden kicking. I can't believe 
need to kick out of that. I mean, Gory come down faster than Luke Cage in a Mortal Kombat game. My goodness. And now work it, stomping the hand of the juggernaut. And oh boy. Are we gonna see it? Oh, wait a minute. Gory's starting to lick his lips. So wait a minute, he has, that was a pressure point. Oh my goodness. I think he just broke the fingers of the juggernaut. John Rodham put him back in place. I've seen it happen. Oh my goodness. And he's just slamming that hand, that injured hand, off the mat. And now Gory in complete control. The leader of the culmination here. Sends Rodham right the ropes. Back elbow by Gory. And now G Gory in pretty much complete control here. The new age plague. And the only one being affected right now, the juggernaut, John Rodin. Oh, Gory now trying to pick his opponent apart. And he is just grabbing at eyes, grabbing at ears. And now the crowd's starting to shout obscenities here. But then again, why not? Two elbows right into the neck of Rodin and now just trying to squeeze the air out of the big guy. The juggernaut struggling here. I mean, we've seen this. I, we've seen Roden before, but right now, this crowd getting behind Roden. Two elbows to the stomach. The juggernaut sends him off the ropes, misses, and Gory's biting him again. <coughs> Gory is psychotic. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. Here comes Corey, double knee to the back. Corey rolls up again, and oh my goodness. Beautifully executed vintage Corey right there, though, folks. Corey will beat you to the end of time, and now, oh, kick to the face. Roden thought he was going to just come in like a missile. Good work. Roden grabbing those ropes. One, two, almost two count and I, did you see Gory was going to put his feet on his ropes he's going to take a little page out of the rule breakers handbook but then again I think Gory wrote it right now yelling at the ref yelling some obscenities here I don't blame Gory though and now Roden trying to come back here Gory keeping him to one knee which is smart especially a juggernaut Oh, wait a minute. Now, these two staged forearms. I thought Roden had a second win, but of course, Gory taking it away. Gory has a sleeper hold. He has that sinked in. The juggernaut could be going nighty night. Has him down to one knee. This could be it, folks. This could be the. He only takes one simple move and Gory has that sleeper hole locked in. Oh, wait a minute now. The Juggernaut getting a second win again. A couple elbows. And then Gory lays it on him again. Gory on his back. Gory literally is on this man's back with that sleeper hole. My goodness. Gory now. And Roden. Pretty much just dislocated the jaw of Corey. Good lord. All his weight come crashing down. Roden has to recollect himself, but Roden has to understand. Here comes Corey. Big boot to the face. Roden, some offense here. Body press. Catches him. Face first off that second turnbuckle. And John Roden now trying to gain some momentum back here. Has him up. German and the beauty. Gory just cracked the back of his head off the mat. Roden unable to cover uh, cover Gory just for the simple fact Gory's been biting, clawing, kicking everything he could throw at the juggernaut. So Roden on his knees now. Can he get over there and at least try to get a cover on Gory? But Gory now climbing to his feet. My God, what a main event we have here tonight. Roden a little bit stumbling here. Um, 
Both delivering some forearms here. Roden with a huge one. Gory with one too. Back and forth. A little bit of... Oh, wait a minute now. Roden's gonna go ahead and see his one to his like 76. Does Jason Gore even know where he's at right now? And the New Age Plague in trouble. Roden has him up. Oh, wait a minute. Though. Gory throwing a couple elbows up there. Getting out of harm's way. Off the ropes. Close one and a beauty. Back elbow. And the juggernaut gaining momentum. Oh, here we go again. Oh, wait a minute. Though. Gory, smart veteran maneuver and blocking the leg. Throwing his elbows. Has him. Picks him up. Corey lands on his feet, though. Thought he was tossing him out the ring. He just threw all knees right into the head of Corey. Leg drop off the second rope. Did you see the big man fly? One, two, no. Kick out, Corey. My God, I cannot believe Gory took that. These two are beating the living holy hell out of each other tonight. Roden slow to get up. So is Gory, though. Sensation to the count of two. He's a sensation here, trying to count. But Roden to his feet first. Has a beaten, battered Gory up on his shoulders. And again, this, this is the second time this has not worked for John Rhodes. Oh, kick to the chest. And, and Seguri! He went down to one knee at all. Gory lines him up. Catches that big boot this time. Face breaker. Rolls him up. One, two, no. Rhodes kicked out of that. I can't believe it. You can see the frustration. You can see the anger. You can see the pretty much. I can't believe he did that on the face of or on the face of Gory. And right now, pulling that hair. Gory signaling. Tosses him over though. Roden on the offense has him. Spine Buster double A style. One, two, no. Oh my God. Roden just drove Gory straight back to hell where he belongs, but Gory able to kick out of that one. Oh, Roden now. This means war. This crowd going to the corner there. What does Roden have in store for Gory? The New Age Plague in trouble. Has him up, oh my. And now Roden, just tired. Good Lord. Roden just hurt his hand off of Gory's chest. I wonder how Gory's feeling right now, that's the question. I've seen his nipple hit the third row. Now the other one. Roden now, pounding away on Gory. Oh, this is it, folks. He he lands this. This match is over. But if you see how Gory's foot is turned, I mean, he's just catching himself. Smart veteran maneuver by Gory. Big forearm. And Roden receives, returns it. And these two exchange the forearms on probably one of the most dangerous parts of the ring. These guys are up high. And that was a heavy, folks. And another one. But Gory, smart maneuver again, getting out of the way and taking his legs out. Did you hear the back chop on that one? Gory, both feet, drives that just right into the canvas. Oh my God, one, two, no. I thought that was it for John. I mean, Gory again, full force, both feet, right into the chest of Roden. But no, only a count of two. What is it going to take for Gory to pin 
John Roden here and the Juggernaut. Wait a minute. Are we seeing what I think we're going to see? Where I got a cross face, folks, and it is in the middle of the ring. Oh my goodness. Look at the extension pulling away. My goodness, this is it, folks. Roden struggling, trying to get to those ropes, and Gory. Oh, wait a minute, rolls him up. One, two. I thought that was a three count right there, folks. Oh, gosh. Got him in the middle of the ring. Oh, my goodness, this is it. He has him. Oh, my God, all the weight on the back of Gory. Oh, it has him extended. The Juggernaut has him in the short. Pretty much a clover leaf here. Gory is not giving up, though, folks. Gory has the ropes. Roden has to break it. He has to the count of five. Roden is in disbelief right now. We thought that was it, folks. I mean, my God. He had the extension. He had the pull. He had everything going. It just was not enough. Roden now to his feet. Gory not even on his feet. I can't. I, I, I'm surprised Gory can even walk at this point. Right now, oh, kick to the midsection. Here comes Gory. Has him. Catches him. Pancake in a beauty. Again, I'm surprised Gory's even walking after this. The juggernaut the, the, has him. Spear! He just went right through him. One, two, and oh, there's Remy LeVay. Remy Le is interfering in this matchup. I knew it. I knew we were going to see the culmination tonight. And that was the juggernaut. LeVay losing his match earlier. I don't blame him being a little angry, but now helping his buddy Gory out. Unfortunately, folks, they just look over. Wait a minute! Zach Rain in the ring now! Rain and Gory! Ronan and LeVay! My god, the culmination! It's now a fair fight! And now Zach Raid trying to get a hold of him here. And the culmination in trouble. And oh my goodness, the solution. Zach Raid pretty much getting coming to the aid of the juggernaut, John Roden. What is the verdict here? Things gonna be a disqualification in Roden's favor here. But we got here the official. Oh, we're gonna have. Hey, since you two uh, D-bags over there like to uh, interject in the main event, how about we come back on May 4th? Jason Gordon and Remy Lupe versus Zach Brady and Sean Roden. Oh my goodness! Next month, folks. The newly formed, uh, we can just call these guys uh, the Solution Juggernaut, taking on the culmination of LeVay and Gory. Well, you heard it here first, folks. The juggernaut John Roden, a victorious here tonight via disqualification. And Gory and LaVey have their work cut out for them next month here. That's right, 2PW Prospect Pro Wrestling. What a hell of a crowd tonight. What a hell of an event. We'll see you next month, folks. Thanks for coming and thanks for tuning in. I'm Michael Doc Doherty. We'll see you next month, folks.
Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com.